Joining us tonight at 9 on CW Austin, I'm Daniel Marine. And I'm Britt Moreno. And first tonight, after a man intentionally set fire to an Austin synagogue several years ago, we're now getting a better idea here and better data from the city of Austin on where and just how frequently hate crimes are happening. As KXN's Grace Reader explains, it's part of a campaign the city launched in response to that arson. After a weekend where a drag brunch in Austin was canceled due to a bomb threat. We don't want in here and make the wrong decision. And where police in Lakeway said they were investigating anti-Semitic graffiti. The implications of what it means is just, yeah, it's disgusting. We think it's a good time to remind you about a program the city of Austin launched roughly a year ago, the We All Belong campaign. So the We All Belong campaign is an anti-hate initiative that we launched last summer to first of all help us to help people report hate crimes and hate incidences more effectively and to know what to do, but also to celebrate the richness of our community to tell people that everyone belongs in Austin. According to city data, there have been four reported hate crimes in Austin this year. There were more than 50 last year, and they happened in every single city council district. And we know that we are seeing a lot of incidences against the LGBTQ community, against the African American community, against the Asian community with respect to religion, but it plays out differently in different parts of the community. That's a huge part of why the city rolled this out in the first place to help people understand how and when to report hate incidents and to collect better data when they do. We want to ask um, the hate crimes task force, we want to ask APD, our victim services to address hate incidences. They need to have data. Coming off a weekend where hate was in the news, we want you to know that work is being done to counter it too. We can say that hate has no place here and we can say that everyone belongs. Grace Reader, KXAN News. And as part of the We All Belong campaign, the city will once again host its party at the People's House at City Hall. It will include live music and activities. The party is Saturday, June 22nd from 6 to 10 p.m. Now looking closer at the FBI's most recent annual crime report, anti-LGBTQ hate crimes rose sharply in 2022, jumping more than 19 percent from the year before. And hate crimes motivated by an anti-transgender bias rose more than 35 percent year over year. The report also stated a majority of hate crimes recorded in 2022 targeted black people.